Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here. And today, I just wanted to show off a bit of an ammo haul that I, uh, that I recently got from Sportsman's Warehouse. So, I know, shocker. Ammo, brand new purchase that wasn't pre-Rona times. It's amazing, right? And, uh, you know, pretty plentiful in stock, which was uh, kind of surprising. I must have caught it on a real good day. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a little uh, quick video on... Um, pretty much what I picked up, what the kind of market, the current market space looks like, and uh, uh, just kind of get like a little bit of discussion here going on. So as you see here, start of the show, primers. Now, when uh, when I was at Sportsman's Warehouse, they literally just got a shipment in. Actually, I was talking to the guy who's very nice behind the counter and uh, just like, hey man, you got any kind of primers? And he was like, actually man, you know what? Hold on here, you, like you got a few minutes and he went to the back and pulled out a whole bunch of boxes of primers. I was like, oh my gosh, it must have just been my lucky day. And he was like, you know, basically th this is the first big shipment of primers we've actually got in in about like the past uh, four months almost. And pretty much they've been getting piece meals, which is, uh, which is not shocking. However, they only had small pistol, uh, large, or large pistol, and then uh, magnum rifle. So I said, well, screw it here. I'll pick up one box because they do still have restrictions. Like you can get a box of pistol primers, you can get two boxes of of uh, pistol ammo and two boxes of rifle ammo at any given time. So or per day. Now, yes, I could I uh, I could have thrown the age old you know clown nose you know fuzzy mustache glasses and walked back in there and tried my luck again. But you got to leave some for the other guys, right? And uh, these primers, shoot, I think I paid like what was it like eight dollar like eight dollars nice like nine nine dollars for these little hunter pack and yes they are taped because the last thing you want is your primers to spill out in your bag in the back of your car and start jumping around and god forbid they hit something <laughs> have to d take cover right um picked up this box of agila nothing crazy uh pretty cheap uh for this i only paid they only rung up uh 13.99 so 14 dollars a box which comparatively what everyone else is paying is a fantastic deal and then I saw this on there, uh, 50, um, 50 rounds. Now, the only thing I don't like about these Aguilas is uh, they they do not stack as tight as, like, the Federal. Now, they did have plenty of Federal there. They had uh, them little 20-round, like, little single boxes there. Uh, they had, my God, m must have had at least 100 of them. So pretty good stock there. They had a few of these. So I just picked up these because... Um, they were actually a bit cheaper for this box of 50 i only paid uh 21 dollars which is still a little bit on the high side but pretty dang good all things considered and uh you know for what you're getting i said screw it why not if i'm already there picking up a uh picking up a uh anderson lower receiver that i actually got for free which I'm, which i just did a video on here couldn't beat it so what does this kind of tell me after speaking with the guy and just kind of, you know, shooting the breeze with him, he was, uh, he was saying that they're starting to get pretty, uh, pretty much regular shipments in and people who seem like they have, uh, you know, the crazies finally died down or starting to die down a bit. Now it could ramp up again and it more than likely will, but at least in, in my neck of the woods, it seems like, it, uh, it seems like things are just starting to stop spiking. And uh, as he liked to say, it was, it's was it been Black Friday every day for the past uh, five, six months, which I believe him. But as far as, uh, as, far as stuff, it seems like people have either, one, run out of money, two, uh, feel like they have plenty enough ammo, or three, their floors have collapsed and from, from the weight of the ammo they have stockpiled. <laughs> um, so... Hopefully, this is a good kind of sign of the market. Like I said, they had plenty there, um, and they also had plenty of uh, uh, plenty of firearms there. I know it's shocking, right? Uh, I know I know that's definitely not the same for all parts of the country, and definitely the same for um, uh, some parts more than others. But again, for the first time, I've really been um, I've really been like shocked about how much ammo actually was on the shelf. So. Uh, there, there's probably going to be another spike, but at this exact moment right now, when this video is being uploaded, it is, uh, uh, it seems like people's shipments have come in. So, um, with that, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're thinking or, or you're having your, or in your neck of the woods. And, um, please don't say what ammo shortage are you talking about? I got 200,000 rounds in my basement. Well, buddy, you're the reason for the shortage. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, uh, 
please like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day. I'll catch you guys next time.